In today's video, I'm out in Wesley Chapel, Florida, and I'm gonna take you on a tour of three homes that have had recent price reductions. So if you like home tours, stick around. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Josh Bryan, and I'm your Tampa Bay area real estate expert. So if you're thinking about making a move, reach out, I would love to help you. My contact information is in the description below. All right, so today I'm going to take you on a tour of three, let's just say, affordable homes i hate using that term because it's relative but a lot of you want to see what is affordable so all of these homes are around at four hundred thousand dollar price point maybe a little bit less um there's only as of shooting this video there's only 28 single family homes in all of wesley chapel under four hundred thousand, and only like eight or nine that are vacant and i only film vacant properties unless it's new construction um I rarely do a uh, home that has, you know, somebody's actually living in. So that's what we're going to do today. And before I get into it, I want to give a quick shout out to the three people that recognized me this past week out in public. Two in Costco the other day and one out in Brandon when I was out there filming my last video. So I just want to say thanks for uh, watching and you actually surprised me because most of my viewers are out of state. So coming up to me in public. A little weird, a little different, but absolutely cool. And uh, thanks for watching. But enough talking, let's start today's tour. All right, so this one is in the Rencrest gated section of the Meta Point area. It is a three bedroom, two bath, 1766 square feet, built in 2000. Originally listed at $425,000, has been reduced down to $405,000 there is no hoa fee but there is a cdd fee of 1511 dollars per year and the 2022 tax bill was 4203 so we pan around this area show you what it looks like then we will go inside all right so you got your palm trees up front they need to be trimmed in my opinion We'll have some more light in over here, but let's go inside, take a look. Make sure to let me know what you think about this when one below. First come in, you have LVP flooring all down the hallway here. To the left, you're going to have a uh, flex room or den, whatever you want to call it. It does have a ceiling fan. Several of the bulbs are out, so it's a little bit darker in here. Brand new carpet. You have your French doors here. And then right here to the left is going to be your coat closet as soon as you come in the front door. And then you can access the kitchen over here to the right. So let's come in, do it this way. I'll show you around right here. So this is a gas community. You can have your brown cabinets, your granite countertops, your five burner cooktop. You have a microwave underneath that and then your nice range hood there you do have a wall mounted oven then your stainless steel refrigerator they're all bosch appliances so they match which is nice and then your pantry is going to be right there and then your dishwasher here your big single basin under mount sink then you have your pendant lights there and then over here to the right is going to be your little dining area. And then over here, you're going to have your laundry room. And then out to your two car garage. And it's a little dark out here. Oh, the lights went off on me. There we go. They're on a motion sensor. So you do have epoxy on the floor. Air handler in the corner there, water heater in the corner. All right, continuing on. Coming in out of the kitchen into your family room slash living room area. I'll give you a look right here on the back side of the arches there. Do have a ceiling fan here. Could not get the light to turn on for some reason. 
probably just a bulb out. All right, this section of the property, you're gonna have two bedrooms, one bathroom. So you have four can lights, so there's some crown molding. Do you have a ceiling fan with no light? So I'd probably switch that out personally with a one that had a light on it. Brand new carpet. Across the hall here, gonna be a bedroom number two. Same thing here, you have four can lights and a ceiling fan above without a light on the ceiling fan. Crown molding. And then your typical closet. Brand new carpet as well. And then bathroom number one. Different color LVP flooring, which it's just a pet peeve of mine. I'm not a big fan. I wish they would have just matched it with the flooring right outside right there. But whatever. Gray cabinets, quartz countertops, undermount sink. Then your shower and tub combo here with the gray subway tile. And then you have a door that goes out to the patio, which will go out there shortly. And then across the way, you're going to have your master suite. So all brand new carpet. You do have a ceiling fan with a light, kind of a vaulted ceiling as well. Coming on in, you have a pocket door here if you want to close this off to the bathroom and the closets. So two closets. Closet number one here. And then directly across the way, closet number two. And then into the bathroom. So first walk in to the right right here is going to be your toilet. Then you have your double vanity here, the gray cabinets, your white quartz countertops. And then your tub here. And then your walk-in shower with the marble. So a nice little touch here, the marble shower pan and the tile on the walls with the two niches there. And then right across from there is going to be your linen closet. All right, let's go outside and take a look at this back patio and backyard. So when you come out here, you have, it looks like a painted concrete slab back here. You do have a covered lanai screened in as well. Let's go out here and I'll show you the, the backyard. So there's a, only the one door to get out to the backyard. Then you have your palm trees here that clearly need to be trimmed. Come around the side over here. So we do have a fenced in backyard gate right there. Come over here and show you this side. And then here is your side yard, gated all the way, or fenced all the way around. There is not a gate on that side, but you could easily put one there if you wanted. So let me back up, show you. Well, that's not a very good view, but this is gonna be the look at the back of the property on this one, and that's gonna do it for this one. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below, and I'll see you at the next one. All right, this one is in the Bridgewater community. It is a four bedroom, two and a half bath, 2364 square feet built in 2006. It is actually a foreclosure. Originally listed at 409,900. It has been reduced $10,000 down to 399,900. HOA fee is only $350 per year. Um, there is a CDD fee of $1,657, and that is included in the property tax bill of 6,011 for the 2022 year. All right, let me pan around the neighborhood, show you what it looks like. Then we will go inside and take a look at this one. So pretty close to a cul-de-sac.
All right, let's go inside, take a look at this, and make sure to let me know what you think about it in the comments below. So when you come in, it has been rehabbed. So you got brand new LVP flooring. Staircase right in front of you. Let's go upstairs first. Let's do that, then knock it out. Come back down. So maybe the banks now are, since the market's still hot, they're actually coming in, rehabbing a lot of these. I'm sure there's some banks out there that still, with their foreclosures, just let them be trash and sell them, but why not fix it up, get more money? All right, so master bedroom here, nice size bedroom. You have the ceiling fan, LVP flooring upstairs as well. No carpet in this property whatsoever. All right, so you come in the bathroom, you have your linen closet here. Over to the left here behind the door, you're gonna have your walk-in closet. Walk in a shower right here. Be nice if there was a light, but I'm sure you could always have an electrician put one in. Got the toilet area here, tub over here in the corner, dual vanity with your white cabinets, your granite countertops. Okay, continuing on. Bedroom number two right here has the French doors. And all the bedrooms have ceiling fans, so that's nice. Actually not bad for a starter home. Air handler is gonna be here. Bedroom number three. Bathroom number two here, white cabinets, your granite countertops. And then you get your tile around the shower and tub combo, the window there. Linen closet. Then you have your second story laundry here. It is pre-plumbed for a laundry tub over here in the corner if you wanted to have one of those installed. Just need some cabinets or shelving. And bedroom number four. All right, so there's the upstairs. Let's go downstairs, take a look at the rest of the house. So far, it's nice and clean. Obviously, you wouldn't have a home inspection, make sure everything was done correctly, but not bad for a foreclosure so far. All right, so coming down, let's go this way. So this is gonna be a little seating area here. You can use it for whatever you want. Second, you know, family room. Then your dining room is gonna be here. And let's just go back this way and then we'll, it's kind of hard to do a, <laughs> a smooth tour on this one. All right, so coming out, Got your two-car garage, and as you can see, new epoxy flooring. It is a little dark in here, so I just get some new lights, and then you know they got the, the windows here blocked with the garage door. But even the even the garage was you know redone with new epoxy, so banks are stepping up their game. All right, so coming in out of the garage. And then immediately to the right, this is gonna be your family room slash living room. You know, at first I thought maybe this was a closed off kitchen, but it's still kind of still kind of open. All right, and then right down in the hall here, like I said, it wasn't a super smooth way to show this one. You have a half bath here with your pedestal sink. And then your toilet and you have a pocket door there. And then the kitchen. So, well, let me show you. Walk-in pantry. 
So a lot more space than you would think probably for a home this size, but nice pantry. So you got your kitchen over here, which I know somebody commented the other day on one of my other videos about don't builders, you know, I think it was a new construction one, but don't builders know that people don't, no, not everybody wants an open concept. Well, this is about as closed off as you're gonna get these days, I think. Um, but, all right, so let's go outside, take a look at the backyard. It's a nice big backyard. There is a, a little bit of an overhang here. So I would definitely, well, it depends on your lifestyle. But, uh, and you have a little concrete pad here, but I would you know, put in a covered lanai or even a pool if you like the pool, because this is a gigantic backyard. It's all the way back. I'm assuming right here where the, the other fence is here. But this is a look at the back of the property. So that's gonna do it for this one. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. I wanna give you a new construction option. This is in Epperson. It is a three bedroom, two bath, 1504 square feet. Currently listed at 392,990. And as you can see, the driveway has just been poured. Well, recently poured, just sprayed it down. So I'm not gonna walk through that, but I'll come around to the other side and I'll show you, you know, the backyard. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to go inside to show you. But I wanted to give you an option because there's not really a lot of new construction uh, in Wesley Chapel under $400,000. There is uh, another model in a different community that's um, a little bit bigger, a little over 1,600 square feet. That's also under 400. Um, but I'm only doing three, three properties in this video. So, but if you're interested, reach out. And I can get you information. All right. So this is the uh, the back of this. Obviously, this you can see where the lot line is going to end. You have a pond view. There are a couple other ones of this model that are in this community that are, if I remember correctly, about fifteen, twenty thousand dollars less that are not on a pond view. So this would be a premium lot. I know some of you do not like water and do not like water views, but majority of the people. They pay extra for it. So let me see if I can go in. And if I can, I'll give you a quick little tour. Nope, it's locked. So I got in, but there's no power on. So it's gonna be a little dark, but I just kind of want to give you an idea of what the floor plan looks like. So you come in the front door, right here to the left, is gonna be your laundry room. Do you have a window in there? And then right here is gonna be the two car garage. And then this is where the air handler is going to go. And this will be ready, um, it's slated for sometime in fall. So the next couple months. All right, so this is actually set up as a dining room, if I remember correctly, in the photos they don't have a model of this um, all right so over to the left over here you're going to be a linen closet there and then a bathroom here obviously all you have is a base cabinet in right now and then your tub and shower combo is in the works bedroom number one back here in the corner and all of these have can lights they're just not hooked up yet clearly there's some type of power because a smoke detector battery is going off or maybe they just put a battery in and never actually wired it up yet saying it's just drained that could be the case all right bedroom number two all right so right here no shelving or anything like that yet. But that's gonna be your pantry. And then your kitchen over here, as you can see the gray cabinets are in. Don't know what the countertops are gonna be, but I can always find that out if you're interested. All 
right, this is gonna be the family room slash living room. Of course, you got your sliding glass doors and your covered lanai that I've already been out to. Try to come in that way. And your master suite back here with that nice pond view. Nice size walk-in closet over here. And then here is the bath. So you're gonna have a shower here. It's already got the tile in around. And then you're gonna have the gray cabinets over here. And then your toilet is going to go there. So that's gonna do it for this one. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. All right, hope you enjoyed today's tour. If you did, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment below. And if you're thinking about making a move, reach out. I would love to help you. My contact information is in the description below. But until next video, take care.